my dear friends this is your friend vivek bajaj co-founder of stockage and elan markets welcome to yet another face to face and uh, this one also is going to be very very special because the one which i'm going to record today will give you an absolute new insight about volume in trading uh, we always talk about price we also know about the relevance of volume especially in the term of breakouts and we all know that trading is all about identifying the pattern behavior of big players in the market so today the guests which i have and you must have guessed because i'm speaking english so he would also be speaking in english to jo mere hindi ke learners hai main aapke liye bahut dheere dheere baat karne wala hu taki aap bhi puri cheezon ko samajh paaye aur aapko english nahi aata to dosto thoda bahut english sikhiye because kai aise uh, experts hamare platform pe aate hai jo english mein hi comfortable ho to humko obviously unse english mein hi record karna hota hai to try to learn english because lot of financial market content aapko english mein hi milenge acche content तो मैं ज्यादा टाइम नहीं लूंगा आई आई लाइक टू वेलकम माय गेस्ट हु इज एक्सपर्ट इन वॉल्यूम एनालिसिस तो आज बहुत यूनिक अच्छा इंटरेस्टिंग डिस्कशन होने वाला है तो आप लोग अगेन लास्ट तक देखेगा आज का भी इंटरेक्शन कैन स्ट्रेच लॉन्ग सो प्लीज स्टे टिल द एंड एंड टेक द फुल एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस लवली लर्निंग विच मिस्टर कार्तिक रामाचंदन इज गोइंग टू शेयर विद अस हेलो कार्तिक सर हाय गुड आफ्टरनून It's a privilege to be on your show. Actually, I'm a big fan of your show. Uh, gives a lot of insight, and especially now you are bringing a lot of uh, uh, experts from outside India. So it has been really interesting. Uh, I'm a fan from the beginning, actually, and it's a privilege to be on your show now. Thank you so much. Thanks for your kind words uh, coming from you. Really gives me a lot of motivation to do more and more and more. Um, Karthik sir. Uh, i've been following you and you are you are doing great work uh, on the study which you follow so i want you to talk about you uh, how long you have been in the market and uh, what are you doing right now which place you are in you are not in india i know so i want people to know where you are from and uh, then we straight away get into your study which is around important volume uh, and the price action thank you uh, a, little, a little about myself uh, i am in kuwait now i work for an international company uh, i've been in kuwait for almost now 25 years now uh, technical analysis has been my passion right from the beginning even from those days when we had uh, no internet and you know trading was very difficult you call up your broker and you never know at what price he really brought and you know what time what price he really sold all this is so difficult and even i had you know try to draw charts uh, on a chart paper and there used to be a paper called money which used to be coming on uh, every monday so mm. I, we used to wait for that because it used to contain a lot of charts and moving averages and all that wow and even to yeah get books it was difficult then and you know the first book i could get was from when i was in pune on the road side there was a book from martin prings so that was the first uh, book i got and I, it was a passion for me of course but everything started uh, moving only after this internet and the trading uh, came and uh, as usual you know any trader has to, or technical analyst has to go through a long journey starting from basic indicators like macd rsi and all that then you start experimenting with elliot waves and then you get disappointed then you get move on to and get disappointed finally i found that the price action was the best friend you know for any mm-hmm. trader and that around 2008 was i read the book from tom williams and i had a friend from baroda of course we have never met and we have been internet friends and we were friends on the tradergy you know uh, there was a forum called tradergy yes. that's where uh, my initial strings of you uh, know uh, all this uh, technical and is all uh, st- started and i had few mentors from there and uh, we had uh, uh, the book of tom williams and a few charts from trade guider that was the first time that they had introduced the uh, volume spread analysis uh huh so with that uh, you know i was basically working on ami broker so we developed the, the uh, first uh, uh, you know software or afl script 
for uh, volume spread analysis. And that was the first uh, script which was freely available uh, to the traders. Uh, and it was been transport, uh, ported to many uh, softwares, including PlayStation, MT, MT2, that was those days, it was not even MT3 that time. It has been ported to many this thing. And from that time, I've been updating uh, this uh, software. And now it is version 5 is there, the latest one. And last year, I introduced it to tra Trading View because... You know, there are so many people using trading view and you know, they also should benefit. So most of my uh, indicators uh, of the trading systems, I've always made it freely available to the people. And uh, unfortunately, some of them even were even commercialized, which I came to know much later. <laughs> uh, but uh, the That's problem is many of them even don't acknowledge it. <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> you know? And so uh, uh, and then from that time onwards, I've been using uh, volume spread analysis uh, fully and uh, I use it to, uh, to, to a good advantage actually. Yes. So I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I am very passionate about uh, technical analysis and being away from, I'm not got involved in intraday trading or futures or options. I've been always doing personal trades. Uh, and of course, it has been, uh, I love my job. So it is an additional passion for me. It's a more of a hobby, which makes me money. So why yeah. not? Yes, that, that clearly gets reflected on your face. And, uh, you know, I want to say one thing that there is a cover. So all the good work of developing that uh, utility for people and giving it to them free. And then finally, people using it and commercializing, that's, that's how it is, the new modern world where yes, yes. people uh, don't give credit to uh, original content creators. So that's, uh, anyways, the, yeah. I think the bigger bigger benefit for all of us who are doing uh, selfless work is the karma. And I'm sure the karma is taking care of you. Uh, you are also believing the same thing. You have done such a good work. You know, so many people are learning from your uh, this thing. <laughs> and the stockage platform has been really helpful to most of the people. And I, I really hats off in this current world, you know, without uh, looking at too much benefit or uh, even giving it free, it is something rare. Uh, and I really appreciate you for that, actually. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, <clears throat> so let's uh, get inside uh, the study volume spread analysis. So I'm sure that my learners would have guessed by now. So Mr. Karthik is an expert in that. And uh, trust me, guys, you're going to have gala time. Uh, Karthik, sir, what I will do is, while you are teaching me, uh, I will keep my trading view open as well. So okay. that while you teach, I also practice. And please allow okay. me to ask you as stupid question as possible. So that while we learn the template from you, we imbibe the template in our trading system together. Sure, sure. Actually, no question is uh, no stupid here. Uh, actually, you we learn from questions. Actually, I mean, yeah. some of, many yeah. of the things like I've been doing some uh, from some friends. I've been doing some webinars and all that. So you never uh, know uh, any question you learn actually. Yeah, yeah. No yeah, question is stupid. Yeah. And then you are an expert, so I don't expect any stupid questions from you. So. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. We'll talk at the end of the video whether okay. I was an expert or I was a learner. Chale, sir. Okay. Uh, so you would like to share your screen? Yes, yes, I would like to share my screen. So you can make me my host. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So nice. today we are going to talk about uh, volume spread analysis, or it is basically a volume price analysis, you can say. Now, volume spread analysis. Uh, tries to, I mean, I will, I'll cover two topics here. One is the details of volume spread analysis. And the other one is looking at volume with a different per perspective compared to the conventional way of looking at volume. So we will cover it in two different uh, ways. Sure. Okay. Uh, first one, of course, we are going to talk about volume spread analysis. Volume spread analysis or the VPA attempts to read the action of the smart money or the uh, the strong hands uh, by reading the price action with three parameters that is close of the price and the spread and the volume. And the basic premises for this uh, VSA is that the market is being manipulated by smart money. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was in early uh, 1940s, uh, Richard Wyckoff, he promoted this idea 
and uh, he called it of course the smart money as composite man mm. so he says that they are sitting behind and manipulating the market uh, to to your disadvantage but if you understand what, how we place it you can really take advantage of that and this mm-hmm. is what we are trying to do here we are trying to understand the uh, move of the smart money uh, and trying to follow them so you know it's like swimming with the sharks mm-hmm. and then uh, you know you take your crumbs uh, from and uh, <clears throat> from the big money uh, or the smart money makes money you also make your money your bit of the money that mm-hmm. is the basic idea behind the volume spread analysis mm-hmm. okay now uh, there are four phases of manipulation actually it is like accumulation markup distribution and markdown mm-hmm. now if you look at here the, there is an accumulation phase where the stock is being accumulated then the markup phase and then uh, we have uh, the distribution phase and the markdown phase mm-hmm. and if you look at in the, even the real market this keeps getting repeated here just an example of idel vis actually there was an accumulation phase for like multiple years of accumulation then there was a markup phase distribution and the markdown and the accumulation in fact this is one stock which i really benefited i i got into this accumulation phase and sold it at the top during the distribution phase and i did make good money out of this so this keeps repeating this pattern keeps repeating you can look up any charts this pattern keeps repeating and repeating and uh, the idea is to make money from uh, such patterns now let's look at in little more details on what is accumulation sir i have one question here i have one yes. question uh, go back please go back to the chart yes. now the, my question is that uh, this chart is it a daily chart and question number 2 is does this work uh, in all time frame so even if i draw yes, five chart will work in that time frame as well yes yes it does work in all time frames we can uh, later on we can look at uh, different time frames to see if all these indications do work or not Sure. So it is uh, as per uh, uh, the theory, and of course I've uh, seen myself that it works in any time frame. But uh, since uh, I am a personal trader, I uh, use uh, the EOD charts. This is an EOD. Ch- sure, sir. Sure. Got it, sir. Chart and most of my work is based on EOD charts, and I make it clear whenever I do some sure, release some work, I tell them it's an EOD chart. and of course people have given me feedback that it does work on lower time frames uh, even on 5 minute type frames these indications of the vsa do work that is the uh, idea it works on any time frame sure now accumulation is a slow process of cornering all the stocks without attracting attention that nobody knows that it is being uh, you know uh, accumulated until there is no uh, supply of the stock the almost nil or no supply of the stock and that's the time when the, the smart money of the people uh, the strong hands get ready to mark up the stocks so mm. normally you see a breakout from a congestion zone or an accumulation zone usually the breakout is on high volume then the uh, stock moves up in stages uh, so you you know that you know it is always up and then then down up and down so the up is on lower uh, higher volume and then it comes down on a lower volume it it is a way that uh, the stocks move up in up you know uh, we, we are all we all know that and uh, during this uptrend itself there could be some distribution happening uh, finally uh, the markup phase comes to an end there could be two ways of it, how it's come to end it could be a rapid high volume thrust i mean it moves up very rapidly on a very high volume a, a buying climax then the stocks comes down that means uh, in that last uptrend itself they have completed the distribution of the stocks uh, the strong hands as to the weak hands and then the stocks come down and some most of the times you find a congestion area at the top that is like it goes up a lot and then there is a, a congestion area where the distribution takes place in a very slow uh, stealthy manner and then the uh, drop down or the markdown happens so distribution is the process where you uh, the uh, strong hands or the um, big institutions offload their stocks uh, to the weak hands uh, without you know uh, uh, much uh, uh, <clears throat> no noise and then it is done very stealthily and so distribution can happen during uptrends which we will see or in congestion zones 
and it is done in a very stealthy manner hot to spot invisible to the weak hands mm. and then the markdown happens and this is the most you know the uh, uh, <coughs> like a pathetic uh, phase you can say where you know supply overwhelms uh, demand and the prices start tumbling <laughs> panic spreads and finally panic selling happens uh, and the stocks comes down uh, to a, uh, the previous level if uh, or at least a much lower level where the process uh, the whole uh, process repeats mm. and there are three laws of wyckoff which i will not go into details of this uh, uh, our concentration is on the vsa i will not go into the details of this yeah. first is the law of demand and supply of course we all know that in any market live uh, alone the stock market it is always the demand and supply that is when which moves the price you know when there is lot of demand and no supply the prices move up and there is lot of supply and no demand the prices move down so this is the basic law is we are uh, going to look at and we are all aware of that and there is also a law of cause and effect which uh, i will mention wherever uh, i get the chance in the law of effort and result this also we will look at uh, later but these are the basic laws i will not go into details uh, of this now now uh, let's come to the some practical applications of this uh, uh, so before go we go into the practical applications let's uh, 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 look at uh, some assumptions or basic rules we will create uh, to uh, define our uh, the we have said uh, uh, yeah signs or strength or weakness okay i will just uh, give me a minute let me open my Okay, now uh, first some definitions we will make uh, now we are always talking about spread spread now what is spread uh, the spread is that you know this the typical uh, oh, oh, chelsea bar this open high uh, low and close bar is there mm-hmm. so the spread is the high minus low this difference between high and low is the spread sure okay and we we take an average of the spread for the last 60 days and that will be our average spread and any spread which is uh, like more than 1.5% 1.5 times of the average we call it high okay okay and which is less than 0.7 okay of the average we call it low or means uh, small spread <clears throat> and the average is uh, for how many days sorry you said how many calendar 60 calendar? days i mean it is there's no hard and fast rule i have i have uh, like some people use 90 days i prefer to use 60 days but because that is 3 months a quarter i can 3 months of trading you know uh, 66 <laughs> days is the uh, trading uh, you know so we use it like uh, i use it 60 days uh, that is the average i take uh, so there's no hard and fast rule somebody wants to use a higher thing he can use it like 6 months can be used but i my standard software uses uh, 60 days and of course i have given the option to change it as well so this is a basic definition for spread okay, okay. similarly we look at the volume we take the average of the uh, volume of 60 day uh, 60 days and volume more than this 1.5 times the average we call it high volume and less than 0.5 0.7 times the average we call it low volume okay, okay. so this, this is a basic definition we are putting uh, for ourselves this is spread and the volume we have the basic definition and we need to in in uh, volume spread analysis the basic thing is they they look at only close okay so uh, let me we need to need to see where the close is now up close is it is closing in the upper side near the high we we say it up close and if it is uh, in the middle we call it the mid close and if it is in the lower side we call it the down close okay 
Of course, it, it, it could be on the upper side, lower side. We, we use different uh, terminology, but this is the basic one is up close, mid close, and down close. These are the basic terminology we use. Okay. And the next one we will see is that. Now, there's one assumption we are for you know studying the uh, what is happening into the, in that particular bar. We, we take the high minus close. We uh, take it as the selling pressure, okay? And the close minus low, we just take it as the buying pressure. You see, like when the price is high, if it is only if there is a selling, it will come down, come down, and it just closes here. So the, we ap approximate this as the selling pressure. And when it is low, when there is a buying, the price goes up and it closes here. So we, we approximate it as the buying pressure. So it is an approximation, but it works very well for our purpose. Uh, we don't go into much you know, complications. We make it simple. So this is quite good enough to understand the selling and the buying happening on a particular day on a, or in a particular bar. Okay. Uh, these are the basic definitions we will. Okay. Now I'll go back to my uh, PPT. Okay. Now these are the basic definitions we have done. That is a spread. What is the high spread, low spread, average volume, low, high volume, low volume, and the close of the bar, up close, mid close, and down close. And where we, how we understand what is selling and what is buying in a particular bar or in a day. Okay. These are the uh, basic assumptions we have done for our practical applications. Now, before we go into uh, the details of the uh, different bars and these things, we will uh, have to look at uh, the uh, where the opportunities come for us, our trading. You know, basically the market structure is what is presenting as the opportunities to trade. So these are the consolidation areas, the price rejection zones and the price support zones are where places where you get some opportunities to uh, trade. Now, consolidation areas, we all know that, you know. So let me uh, just go through uh, quickly on the what is the uh, price rejection zones. Uh, frankly, this is something of my own. And, but it has been working very fine with, for me. So I would like to share that with everybody so they can also understand better. So let me go to the TradingView uh, platform. Now I have the, uh, the chart of borrow renewables uh, here. Now the price has been moving up here. So at this bar, the, the price closed at So why different bars are different color? I'll come to it uh, later. Yeah, this is yeah. uh, okay. Uh, this is part of the VPA. This thing, so it oh, is remained here. So okay. Sure, sure. So sure. Uh, so at this bar, it closed at six eighty eight. Okay. So after that, it again closed up here. It's at seven twenty two. But mm. this price was not acceptable, right? That is why it started coming down here. The next mm -hmm. bar, you can see that it was pushed down and came down. So this 722 was not acceptable to the uh, buyers or the traders. So, and I, what was the last acceptable price was 688. So I will draw a line here. Okay. So this is my price rejection level. Okay. Now from here, if can okay, we'll draw a rectangle, the supply came from this area, right? From the top of this. So this is my supply area. Mm -hmm. And you will see that this is my price rejection zone. You will see that every time it approaches this zone, there will be supply coming in and it, the prices will go up until finally it, it uh, breaks out of this price rejection zone. So you can see here it came down, it came into the price uh, rejection zone. The next bar again, supply came and it came down again, right? And here again, it came up, but it was not able to penetrate further. And finally it did penetrate last week, it did penetrate, not last week, the week before it penetrated that, but the, there was overwhelming supply. You can see from this uh, volumes here, it pushed down, but it still, 
that means the supply has to be absorbed here before it goes up again and okay. you can see that price volume has dropped down so nobody is trying to push it they are just absorbing the supply the smart money is absorbing the supply and this is all positive sign like finally you have an up bar last uh, working day and so i expect the price to break out of this zone again and attempt will be made again so this is my price rejection zone and similarly you can have a price support zone right so if you look at again here when it came down here this was a price and this there was the lowest price this was not really uh, i mean it did not go further this uh, low price was uh, when the lower than this was not accepted so this was my last price support accepted price now uh, below which the support was coming right so i will again draw a re rectangle here so this is my support zone so every time you will see you it will uh, come down but sometimes you will see it comes below and then comes up again mm -hmm. this is again there are some definitions for this like something called spring some people call it bear trap and all this so this way the, if you understand the price uh, support zones and the rejection zones because some people draw just one line here as the uh, resistance and support but i would rather see it as a zone where you know support comes and you are more comfortable using it as a zone and uh, of course there is also theory it is like an elastic band where you know it could it's not a straight a rigid line it is an elastic band but i look at it as a zone only a rejection zone and a price a support zone so if you understand all this you can get a lot of opportunities uh, for uh, trading right now <clears throat> we we'll look at those, how those opportunities come later but this these are the basic uh, building blocks we are looking at so to understand mm -hmm. the market structure is important for us right to and uh, get the uh, opportunities for trading so let me go back to my uh, presentation so like any uh, uh, like you know the candlestick you have lot of definitions uh, hanging man and uh, dojis and pregnant women a lot of definitions are there in a similar manner we have some definitions uh, for the strength and weakness of the bars in volume spread analysis okay so it is and these definitions are based on three factors it is based on your price close your spread and volume these are the three basic factors which we, we use uh, for defining the uh, bars okay uh, whether it's a strength bar or a weakness a weak bar we use these three factors of course uh, personally i use uh, uh, open as well because open does give some information more information mm -hmm. about what happened in that particular day or in that particular bar so mm -hmm. i do use open as well so first let's start looking at what is the signs of weakness okay <clears throat> what some people like many of the softwares they call it sow so the signs of weakness so the first one is the up thrust bar the and the up thrust bar is uh, the most uh, frequent and uh, most reliable kind of pattern which uh, gives you a real uh, picture actually so let let us again go uh, 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 let's first see what is this up thrust bar okay uh let me make it full now what is the uptrust bar uptrust bar is a widespread bar okay uh, and the closing is always at the low or near the bar, and the volume will be high and this normally happens after an up bow or moving into new territory okay mostly happens after a widespread uh, volume bar this is an uptrust bar okay now let me uh, let's start looking at some real uh, uh, real life situations okay so let me go back to uh, the trading view so here i will show you uh, my uh, software or the script okay so this is called vpa 5.0 you can uh, anybody can search uh, that vpa 5.0 sorry what is the name vpa 5.0 yeah yeah vpa dash 
space dash uh, dash 5.0 5.0 we can see yeah i got it okay and okay okay and also there is a supporting vpa volume is there you can plot these two and mm -hmm. this has got <clears throat> all the necessary information we need okay now what we need we need the information about where the close of the bar right and the volume whether it's high low all this volume and the spread whether the spread is uh, above average high low all these three information so we get here and also i've added some uh, information on the trend whether it is a major trend or a minor trend or in intermediate trend okay this information is already available here and you have an alert window here now these are the last two alerts uh, here you can have up to seven alerts in this okay it's all you can uh, go to the setting uh, you can change you can change the background and you can show what is called a trend band okay This trend information is already available here. So this is sort of redundant. There's a strength band here. This shows the strength of the bar. Now, coming back to the colors, you know. Now, you see the red one is uh, bearishness, okay? The, or weakness, you can say. And the green is strength. And this, uh, the blue is to be a transition uh, between these two. Uh, strength and weakness and the same applies to the bars as well okay similar so this uh, strength i've added here to show whether it is really strong or it is weak uh, it is quite helpful uh, it's an add on it's not really our vsa stuff this is uh, based on uh, uh, some it's a, it's a, uh, based on a adaptive rsi Okay, so uh, this is uh, something I which I added. Of course, the code is available for everybody. You can look at the code and see what, what I've done. So this you can add here, and also you can, if you need, you can add uh, three EMS here. Okay, the EMS does uh, show you a lot of information whether it is an uptrend. Uh, whether it is weakening uh, uh, okay uh, all this information this uh, uh, it does give this information uh, i've been using it uh, always uh, in the uh, you can change it the, the parameter can be changed uh, Uh, from this window okay and also you can uh, uh, plot vwap if you want all these uh, features are available so just give an introduction to the software before we going to uh, our uh, main uh, this thing an up thrust bar right so you can see here this is an up thrust bar it opened here moved up to the high here and then came down and it closed in the low and you have a very high volume so this is a typical up thrust bar where you know when it you had a very uh, wide up uh, up bar here so people feel that it is bullish so the next bar opens high higher than the previous uh, close and many of the retail people get in here so you know the fear of missing out happens and then also this uh, they think it's a big breakout happening so everybody gets in here and then the price is marked down and it closes below so this is a typical up thrust bar okay and the volume is high and you can see here also here but this is a different kind of up thrust bar because there was no it it gapped up opened gapped up and then it closed down here so this is like right from the beginning it was been a lot of selling has been happening but if we look at intraday maybe the selling happened much later to bring the price down when many people have got in so this is like a trapping many of the weak hands on the top and it bringing down i have so, a question yeah i think can you please explain this to me the uh, the uh, 
the the term which we are using like up trust ut is up trust what is nd yes. tb uh, there is a no demand bar actually okay. there is a, a guide for that actually let me wow. just open wow. that uh, you have made a guide uh, awesome will you share this with us please yes it's all available free everything i've oh. done is very uh, so everything Unreal. like each one like what is an uptrust bar there are some details whether it's what is indication bearish and all this uh, you know, like no ut1 ut2 confirms bearishness there is a pseudo uptrust bar so all these indications i mean there's a cheat sheet which is available awesome awesome okay so uh, because it's only uh, Uh, initially you would require it and then for me i don't require any of these indications i can just yeah. look at the chart and then because it has been years i've been using this yeah. so uh, eventually your somebody uh, using vsa uh, that should be his aim to look at the things in a plain chart without any indications or details so one okay. thing karthik uh, the document yes. which you are showing that has candlestick yeah. you are using bar uh, any difference uh that's a good question actually uh okay uh there is uh, an option to do candle six here in this so i maybe when i printed it out no um, but uh, are you uh, do you suggest people to use bar for this study uh, for this study bar is better and some people don't know but i it's uh, no problem using uh candlesticks uh, uh, because but the problem with using candlesticks you always get confused with your the, the, the typical candlestick pattern candlestick pattern yeah so, so that, that is why you start yes. don't use it i got your point i mean if you get hammer and then you get up thrust also so you will yes, like yes. what is this happening with me <laughs> yes yes exactly exactly so it's a, um, what i will do later on now i, I will uh, make the sheet with bars also so that people don't get confused okay. it was a very good thanks a lot for this uh, you know you <laughs> pointed out the right thing you know when you do it you don't uh, unless somebody points out you don't realize okay yeah yeah so it's a good thing that you pointed out you will we will change that okay so uh, in like in candlesticks you always have to look at the next bar okay to for confirmation whether it is going to this really the bearishness is existing or not okay so if you look at here the this is the uh, uh, now don't look at the se condition the, just look at it as an uptrust bar the next one actually it gapped down okay so that it is really bearish uh, and but the volume is low but the next one is again in ut bar so the bearishness is confirmed and here again it the bearishness is get confirmed by the next bar but some places you would find that it is not really bearish let me see if i can find a so one more question what is vta yes. volume and how is it different from normal volume uh, no it's, a, it's actually nothing big difference only that uh, the color coding is there uh, sure. and the average is plotted 60 days average is plotted sure. so sure. you can understand whether it's high volume low volume you can easily you know make out uh, you can use the standard volume bar also but only you need to make the plot of the average got it so got I, it. i just try to make it ready made that's all okay okay now coming back we were saying that not all like now suppose here is you have a ut bar right that up thrust bar but the next one actually closed it's it's a small bar but it closed above i mean opened above when closed above the previous low so it is the weakness is not really high like it's temporary weakness okay and uh, then you started moving up so that weakness is negated by the ne uh, next bar so you always have to have a confirmation from the next bar this is just like candlesticks okay so this is our first indication of the weakness okay now uh, uh, if you don't have any further questions on that i will move on to the next yeah. uh, one yeah. okay the next one is called pseudo uptrust bar actually pseudo it's actually sorry pseudo uptrust bar now it is exactly the same as the uptrust bar but the volume is not very high but still it is a weak it's an uh, indication of weakness 
Okay. Let me again go back uh, uh, to a real time chart. Let's see if we can find out. Uh, it is not very common, but you do find that. Uh, let me see. Now, if you see here, the, exactly the action is similar to uh, uh, Aptras bar, it closed low, but the volume is low. So it is not. Uh, and here again, you have an upthrust, but here the weakness is very limited. But here again, you have a upthrust bar where the weakness is more profound. So it is a sign of weakness, we can say, but it is not as strong as a stronger signal as the upthrust bar. It's a pseudo upthrust bar. Uh, one more thing, uh, Vivek ji, is that I'm not going to go through all the indications. There are many more indications. I think we have limited uh, time. So we will only look at the main, uh, the more frequent uh, kind of uh, signals so that, you know, that people get a feeling of what is VAC. That, that is the idea. Yeah. Because yeah. most of the people, it is a totally different uh, subject. Uh, and uh, it's not easy to understand the subject as well. So that is why, like, uh, but if you understand this, your understanding of the market becomes much, much better. So I would really recommend people to uh, have an add-on knowledge on this uh, VSA. It helps to understand the market much better. The next one is called the effort to fall bar. Okay. The effort to fall bar is uh, uh, the the bar? Let me open uh, just a minute. Okay. The effort to all, uh, fall bar. It is again a widespread bar. It normally opens high and closes near the low. The uh, volume is average to above. Uh, I mean, high volume. Uh, the higher the volume, the more uh, stronger it is. And it happens in a down move, mark of a, uh, I mean, start of a markdown or in a distribution range. You can see these bars more often. Okay. But the next bar can totally negate this weakness. So that also we will see now. Let's go back to uh, the uh, chart now. Let me see. We have markdown. So, in order to save time, at the uh, Mark down some of these uh, charts where they can easily look at. So there in a chart, there are so many such indications. Yes. How do you react? Uh, how do you generate trade out of them? That's a very good question because uh, you don't generate trade out of these signals. These are meant to give you a good uh, insight into the market. What is happening? Okay. And generally, like uh, now, you know, uh, for example, right? You uh, this is moving in a sideways range. You know, there is an there is an effort to move a bar here. You can see here, right? And it is an increased volume here. So the and it this is moving in a range. I mark this range here. Okay, it is moving in a range. So. This effort to move a bar gives you an idea that something is happening here and the volume is also increasing. So there's a good chance that it will move out of this range soon. So, so the, the same conclusion I can draw by just looking at price chart, drawing a simple support and resistance line and looking at the volume. Yeah, no? looking at the volume. So... Uh, but the way you conventionally look at volume, maybe uh, you, know, uh, you you could uh, see a wrong thing. Okay, uh, we'll come to that. How we look at volume differently in yeah. uh, VSA. Okay. Now, uh, the next one is again it's a gap top. It's an upward to move bar. You know here the strength has come, and looking at the volume, right? So, <laughs> so this is how you start. I mean. Uh, Use it for trading. Of course, uh, on a standalone basis, only these signals will not uh, it'll only help you to understand the market, whether it is the market is uh, having strength or weakness. Okay. So um, we will take some example to show that uh, 
how this volume uh, picture gives you a d- uh, different uh, perspective yeah uh, to the market so the uh, let me make it very clear it does not give you any buy and sell signals it helps you to understand the market much better sure sure now if you see here this is the price uh, support zone right it mm. it came down here so here many of the stop losses would have hit right many yeah. people would have kept stop loss here and then slightly moving up back here yeah. so here you have an effort to move up bar here on a increased volume so you know that is shakeout is happening here or the, what you call as bear trap is happening here so yeah. maybe, and uh, maybe this is the right time you can take a bet on here and enter because you know the maximum there could be a rejection here but at least this much you can travel right so these kind of uh, it gives an overall uh, idea about the market uh, makes your trading much better you can have your own other signals for entry signals but it makes you use a clear idea of what is happening in the market whether it's buying selling happening all that okay what is eu so, eu is effort to move up so uh, you know there's a limitation if you look at uh, uh, like but it you, you will get it a signal here actually unfortunately in uh, trading view it is not a dynamic like if you take ami broker so any bar i select that particular signal comes here okay so you know if this is a stopping volume like it's only a symbol here but the details comes here but that kind of feature is not available in trading view so we we had to compromise on that and then we gave an alert window so but unfortunately this is not a dynamic it gives only the last seven maximum seven uh, alerts okay so uh, this this happened like on uh, 28th this was the last one like it's a top reversal signal all that you no know, sign- uh, indication it gives here uh, karthik uh, i would like yeah. you to you know explain this uh, this alert thing and the uh, the one which is there on the top as well yeah here uh, of course in for vsa we need three basic indication we said right? the close whether it's up close mid close low close that indication is given here okay and volume whether it is a low volume high volume average volume that indication is given here okay and the third one is like the spread whether it's above spread I mean above average or a low small spread or a wide spread all that indication is given here and also uh, this i told you like to have in added this uh, this is not really a vsa stuff but it is uh, based on uh, random walk theory uh, it is uh, giving you the whether it is a major trend up trend or a minor trend if Got it is it will it will become green or red if there is no trend it will be yellow color and if Got it is a uh, down it will give you uh, in red color so you can understand what is the trend happening now in this particular uh, stock okay Got it. that's an added advantage and this is the alert so you can set how many alerts you want uh, here you can select how many alerts uh, here all the settings are available like what is the minimum period maximum period for the random walk theory and uh, you can also like close some of these indications you, you you are not interested in all the signals so you can you know uh, switch off switch on some of these signals as well mm. right so so that if you, some people like i'm interested only in uptrend parts and you know some basic indication i don't want every signal to show up so i can turn off these signals sure sure got it okay. and uh, this alert window like how many messages i want i can increase it to like this got it okay but unfortunately this is not a dynamic uh, uh kind of thing it doesn't it shows only the last seven and also there is a some support and resistance lines can be drawn here okay so let me introduce this so that i don't congest mess uh, 
Very you can see these dotted lines, right? These are the support mm. and resistance lines. But these are based on you know the swing highs and swing lows. Okay. Uh, but I, I don't, fr frankly, I don't use that much. I even put my own price rejection zones and so I know exactly uh, where to trade. Oh my God, this is like, what have you created, Karthik? This is unbelievable. I mean, in one single setup, so many things. Uh, and also you have, uh, you know, uh, when there is a high volume, uh, there are some reactions can happen in this uh, high volume. So I can also uh, show volume lines. So you know the bars where high volumes happen here. Mm. So when price approaches this area, you know that high volume happened at, at this area. So you can be a little careful or you can take a decision accordingly. So these are the high volume lines. Amazing. Okay, I, will, I will switch this off so that uh, now my chart is not congested. So all these features are provided and it's all free for everybody. Yeah? Each feature is worth an indicator. And in single indicator, you have put on so many features. Unbelievable. So many features. Okay, uh, so uh, we are uh, coming back to our original. Uh, yeah. I hope it's you, Do you need any more information? No, 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 it's clear. No, it's clear. And uh, sorry, one more thing. In this, yeah. uh, the line below with various colors, the one, yeah, this one. This one. So what does yeah. the color indicate? Uh, this is strength. Green is strength. Okay. So when you can see when it starts green, then it starts moving up here and then. And the orange, I did not put red, it is more of an orange color. It is, uh, it is weakness. And, what and is the blue the... one is a transition between the two. Ah, and what is the basis? Purely price action? No, this is based on uh, uh, adaptive RSA actually. Oh. You know, the, uh, it is not an adaptive, it is a floating uh, level RSA. No, we... Uh, normally in RSA, we keep this level, you know, the constant that 100 and this thing, right? So it based on the previous uh, 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 bars, you know, the high and low keeps changing. So it is all, it was developed by me, I put it in a broker, uh, put it here, effective here, like you can see here itself, it started showing strength, but it is actually the price is not moved up, right? Connection. Okay, so uh, here you can see it is green, right? So, but the price is still moving sideways, but it's already started showing green. Uh, the strength is coming, so it's an alert for you. And based on the next few moves, you can take an action. And here, the chart is stagnating, so it is like uh, neutral, you can say. And so that way, you can you know get some. Uh, indication of the strength and weakness based on the RSA actually. I use an RSA in a very, very different uh, way. <laughs> I don't use it in the standard overbought <laughs> oversold yeah. signals actually. Yeah. This is an RSA, actually the first when you call it, see it as Vasant, right? Yeah. This is a, this is a simple RSA. It tells you exactly when the strength comes and you know, it, it catches you all the big trends. It's based on a simple RSA and it will give you in advance when the weakness happens. You know, it, here the weakness has come already and you know, it started moving down. So it is a simple RSA a signal actually. So I keep, no, I keep experimenting a lot with indicators and then even my blog is called Experiments in Technical Analysis. I keep What's doing the name of the blog? Sorry for the diversion. Pardon? What's, what's the name of the blog? It is called Experiments in Technical Analysis. Experiments in Technical Analysis blog. Okay. Yes, yes. yes. So, uh, sorry for this diversion. We are, I think, deviating. I just wanted to show you that, you know, your things can be very simple. Uh, using the RSA, you can, you know, catch the big trends. Uh, I just wanted to show you. It is a simple RSI of 66 period. Can you imagine? And if you combine it with a RSA of... Uh, uh, 152, that is six months period, 
then you know you can uh, really get lot of other information so uh, simple indicators we can use it uh, very well okay sorry uh, again we are deviating so we are looking at uh, effort to move up uh, uh, bar so this is a very common indication everywhere you will find whenever this start starts moving up you call it it's a, i mean sorry we were looking at effort to move down bar right i got confused a little uh, you are we should be looking at effort to move down bar we are looking at weaknesses i was look let me look at um artik uh, you know i'm trying to understand this everything but finally i'm not able to understand how will one trade based on these things these are very too many indicators trying to inform something to us but how will we trade like i said you know it is uh, actually it doesn't it's not a trading tool as such it is to understand the market much better but finally after understanding the market you want to make money from the market right yeah but you know it, it helps you to understand your market better means you you are in a better position to do a better trade right just we are not looking at uh, as a system trade here this basically helps you to understand uh, can we discuss a trade which you have done recently based on this setup <laughs> okay uh, let me check and how do you scan ideas i mean which stock to select on what basis uh okay no uh, unfortunately uh, the trading view does not give you the kind of scanners which uh, you, you can easily use now okay coming back to a trade which i took recently is uh, this one uh right okay uh, yeah. i will close this window i'll come back with uh, later the delivery volumes okay okay now uh this was my rejection uh, price rejection zone actually okay so this it start moving up and uh, it's above the uh, moving averages here i have a it is an effort to move up bar actually so uh, some a lot of volume is come in so somebody is getting into the stock i knew it, because of course indication just potential buying climax but don't look at it it does not happen in a sideways move so i'm alerted here okay and then next bar again here this is where i got in actually when it starts moving up i got in here i'm still holding it now on Other what price. basis did you get out of it pardon on what basis did you enter this stock well, i see that you no know, it's an effort to move up bar right and okay. it is crossing the uh, rejection zone right and the volumes have increased a lot here mm. okay and you see this up bar is there in the next one it did not move much but the volume is much less compared to this so whatever if you look at this bar you know in the there is a big wick here right so that means there has been some some supply coming in here okay so the next bar is a, a small spread bar and the volume is much lower so here is i would be anticipating that whatever supply here was existing is being absorbed here because the spread is small if it was really selling was there it the spread would have been much larger right mm. so i'm i'm here i'm seeing absorption of the supply so the next mm. bar again moving up okay so the volume is high but again the spread is small but i am not for sure that that the rest of the supply is also being absorbed here so this is an mm. up bar and if the supply was overwhelming it would have pushed it down and it closed up whenever mm. you uh, the spread is small and the volume is high you know there is something some anomaly is there yeah right? so here i am i was sure that the supply is being absorbed mm. so i entered the next bar opening itself i entered actually Mm. and always you can expect a test here 
and it, if you, as long as the test is at lower volume, you are happy. So mm -hmm. here again, and if you are very conservative, this is the place to get it because here there was a low volume here coming back, and then you have a effort to move a bar, right? And and in an increased volume here. Mm -hmm. So this is the time where you have to the more conservative ones would get in here. So it gives me a good background of what is happening, whether selling is being absorbed, whether selling uh, overwhelms the supply, these kind of information I get from these, uh, looking at the, uh, you know, the volume uh, and the bar action, actually. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at, say, for example, let's take ITC. ITC, like this is moving <coughs> up, a lot of volume is happening here, right? Mm. So I had, in fact, posted on Twitter that all the euphoria, you know, a lot of people were so happy that you no know, ITC is moving up. I said, be careful now. It's not all hunky dory because you know I use uh, delivery volumes to a large extent. If you look at here, when this is moving up, the delivery volumes is increasing here, right? Now, why would anybody take a delivery unless he's uh, confident that prices will move up, right? So the total volume is the, like it is delivery plus the intraday volume, right? But the delivery volume is like more of a committed buying that our long, longer term time frame players are there here. Yeah. Okay. So when reached here, and this is like, the volume is sort of dropped down here. Yeah. And when it actually crossed, this is where everybody was euphoric. Uh, and when I posted this, it's an effort to raise bar, but you look at the, there's hardly any delivery volume. No, nobody's like committed buyers are not there. Right? So the yeah. next one I know, like this is the Naptras bar. So I know that weakness has come in. Confirmed weakness has come. But I had warned it here itself, like, don't be like all hunky dory. It's not hunky dory always. <laughs> Looking at the volume that this up move is sort of uh, steam has gone out of this up move. So this is how I read the. Um, so it helps you to understand the market better and uh, plan your trade better. It is not a, like a buy and sell strategy at all. It, it helps to understand the market much better. Sure, sure. Okay, that that is the idea. Okay. And the next one is a real uh, uh, good indication, I would say. Uh, it gives you a uh, very good warning. Uh, next signal. Next is the buying climax. Okay. A buying climax is normally, uh, it is almost uh, at the end of the uptrend is what is happening in the buying climax. Let me see. It is a widespread bar after a very good up move closing at the top on ultra high volumes. What is happening here is, and in this bar is that uh, when the uh, stock has moved up a lot, then uh, the strong hands, whatever is left, they are trying to pass it on to the weak hands. So everybody is like, you know, the, the trend has gone up high a lot and there are so many people like, you know, the fear of uh, missing out is there and then, the last uh, retail public enter here and uh, the uh, the strong hands pass off the stock to the weak hands. And that's the time like it, an indication. It's, normally the volume is ultra high and that is an indication where uh, uh, you are, you have to be careful. Let, let's look at some examples. Okay. Let me just uh, have selected some stocks for to save time. So let me see. Uh, let's take up some chart examples. Okay. <clears throat> While you're discussing, I'm also practicing in trading view. Okay. And I'm adding your study with my RS study. And I'm gaining confidence. Okay. <laughs> See, uh, this bar, right, it is 
the an ultra high like compared to the last uh, so many months this is the highest uh, volume bar right so this is an ultra high volume bar closing at the top mm. and this will it's a potential buying climax the warning is given to you already so ideally what happens like this is a price rejection zone and then uh, it is cross this with such a high volume so in conventional sense it is a very like positive signal very bullish signal right and, and the next bar opens above the previous close so so many people would be entering but what happened the next bar it's an up thrust bar and so many people got trapped here so it is a warning it is given to you right it's going to be an up thrust bar and uh, it's it's weakness is coming it is not uh, what do you say it is not uh, Uh, very bullish. So how can same some... how can same bar we have have EU and BC both? Um, okay, this this is a, after all it is a mechanical no, coding, right? So I cannot uh, say if it is BC if it is. So maybe I can define it looking at the volume itself. If it is ultra high, you don't make it EU. so this is the first release maybe in the future releases we can you know uh, make it better so one idea was somebody is uh, like you can create labels where uh, you know uh, some uh, in, uh, information can be given here so i'm going to work on it soon so that's a time which we can improve so i frankly i'm not an it guy wake uh, i am uh, basically a controls uh, and instrumentation engineer my coding skills are very very limited so so Wow! Wow! For me, it is a big achievement, actually. You know, Seriously, uh, without any coding background, you have given this, and then you are giving it free to people. This is really commendable job. So, so that is why, like, you know, I cannot code much uh, bigger things, but this I could somehow do. Okay, and you know, a lot of you know codes are available. You can all you need to is look at study, and then you know, copy paste, and then modify. <laughs> so that kind of facility is available nowadays right right so let me go to another chart let me see coal india okay. coal india okay but uh, see this is the by uh, this is a bc buying climax yeah right yeah so everybody would be ah oh, happy like finally started moving up and then then what happened okay finally it eventually it moved up but initial that euphoria is like lost it has come down right so many uh, places you can see here again after uh, trending a lot you have a buying climax here and the buying climax does not mean that it's immediately ended so there could be you know some more stock left and then there could be a final push to distribute and then it goes down sure yeah so uh, buying climax followed by ut is a sure sure signal that you are in position get out so this is where it helps it is not maybe maybe trading but it helps you a lot when you see such a uh, this thing but if you are if you don't see this you no know, we are seeing this at but if you are here at the moment you will see okay to see we are still bullish it may be a some bar which but if you look at these signals it gives you a very clear indication that things are wrong it's time to get out of your trade right if you are for professional traders because and similar things have uh, happened in the lower time frames as well so this gives a very good indication this is where it helps not for mm. to you know entry and exit levels but, but this tells you beware get out <laughs> so this is this is what uh, makes you understand the market much better what is happening in the background to okay uh, maybe a no on more chart if you want to look at i can look at bhr and some of the signals you can switch off like you that facility is there if you are using like see this is an uptrend up move here happening here 
buying climax here itself we are warned and the next yeah. one is also buying buying climax and it came down right so very interesting extremely interesting okay now the let's go to the next one i think we were i'm making it too big uh, week no it's okay next is a two bar reverse okay a two bar reversal uh, this is actually not a basically it is uh, tom williams did not talk about two bar reversal but i've seen that uh, all these uh, people who are uh, talking about vsa have included this recently and i found this do you know help so i have included myself also so so many of these people like uh, who conduct these webinars on vsa and all that in us i have seen them talking about uh, two bar reversals so i have included this as well now what is a two bar reversal let's look at uh, what is two bar reversal a two bar reversal you know the previous bar is the highest sorry sir it's on the down side right let me want it on the up side okay down side right we are talking about weakness the previous bar is the highest of the four bars like this you no know, it's going up and then the previous bar is the highest and this bar almost engulfs the previous bar and it closes below volume can be high higher the volume the stronger the signal it can be average also but this is the basic setup the previous bar should be highest of the four and the current bar should engulf the previous bar sure now let's look at some of these examples again same all good <coughs> it looks like borosil is your favorite stock in in that stock you get to see all patterns huh? <coughs> yeah yeah but lot of patterns are there now if you see vivek here this this the the tb is the one which is a two bar reversal okay now it is moving up the tb indicated weakness right so it came down again so this was the uh, this bar engulf the previous bar and the previous bar was the highest close of the last four bars and it we can quite often uh, see this uh, two bar reversal actually so basically what i get a sense karthik is that uh, yes, you have created encyclopedia of this this study and is there in trading view in fact when you click on that setting all the patterns are defined through i yes. so just like we study candlestick and it take us time to become expert in candlestick this is also kind of a study which will take some time but this is a very efficient study as per you yes yes it takes a lot of time so that is why it is not very popular because it takes time to study but say money making money making is also not a very popular exercise <laughs> just <Yeah. important. laughs> true very <yeah>, true <laughs> arthik uh, see um, it's very overwhelming for me because it takes time for me also to understand this and i'm sure that my learners should also take a lot of time so what i want i request you that i don't want to be uh, done in a very hurry way so now you have explained it to me i'm going to watch this video again i'm going to practice that in trading view and i will have my questions ready and from here i think we have covered the weakness part on the next i believe you'll we'll cover the strength and other from here this strength and other thing i will be able to ask you better questions better prepare and i request you for another session as a continuity of this session possible sure sure vivek it will be my pleasure you know i have been always sharing things and teaching people so it will be my pleasure to explain it much better and anyway thanks for this opportunity actually and any time uh, whenever we will do the next session so i can come explain the science of strength and also more on volume message
yes plus uh, i will have my questions ready uh, okay. and friends uh, if you are watching this video you have your questions ready also post those questions in the comment uh, window uh, so that i can pick some of your questions and in the next video i will start with questions and then we will ask uh, kartik to complete his presentation getting into strength and other areas which will eventually complete this whole learning of volume spread analysis from kartik kartik thank you so much for recording this lovely content with me and i'll be thanks a lot vivek it's my pleasure it's my privilege thank you and i'll be in touch with you in couple of days we will record session number 2 this video will go live uh, in few days from today and i'll give some more time to my learners including me to understand this properly so we will record in couple of weeks so that we all are ready to you know record the second one with you thank you thank you thank you karthik sure. thank you so much bye bye thanks a lot yeah. bye. Yeah. bye thanks